take it you're a fan of Oro 3D. Yes, at the most time, because uh, sometimes there is uh, <laughs> a little bit too much silence in the in the Atmos area. Yeah. Well, you know, But, uh, so uh, what would you say to one of the things I said at the end of my video, which was I like Oro up mixing. You know, a lot of people will say over oh, here in the U.S. there's not a lot of content. And I say, hey, I like the up mixer because I've had some native Oro stuff where I wasn't so impressed with the native mix either. So to me, it came down to the mixer. Did the mixer do a good job? Did they actually put something in the high channels? Because just because it's a native oral doesn't mean that they're going to put something up there, right? That's that requires time yeah, and effort. It, huh? it depends on the on the uh, on the mix and and the and the music or um, or, or film maybe. Um, um, and I, I surfed some some internet sites and I found there is. Uh, We call it in Germany. We call it here uh, pure audio. It's something like this one. You can call mm. it. Um, it's in Blu-ray, but uh, on it you have a picture, and uh, you can uh, also, when you watch the picture, there 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 are many or there are four uh, different sound mixes on it. So you can you can listen to the music in stereo, in 5.1. In Auro native mm. or in Atmos native. Oh, cool! Sounds so, useful. Uh, yes, you can uh, because the the the, the then or the mostly every R switch to the right uh, sound format or up mixer, so you can choose the same track on the same line only by push the buttons. Oh, that's convenient. So if you wanted to compare, like that would be like the easiest thing to do. You could. Put on the 5.1 mix and then compare the up mixers. You can, or you can oh, just you can. compare the Atmos mix to the native Oro mix and and then to the Oro up mixer if you like. Yes. Okay. And uh, uh, under surround parameters, you can decide which, uh, which high or which intense of the Oro mix you, you like. From... I usually keep mine at the, the default. The up mixer is, I just, I just leave it alone. I no, you can, you can, you can decide. You have, you have, yeah. When you when you listen to the Marans, go under audio surround parameters, and you can choose your your level of up mix. Huh. Right. So when you change between the the different formats, do you choose a different track, or do you just change it on the AVR on your receiver? No, it's a, it's 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 like uh, from from Blu-ray when you when you change a, a language or. Oh or yeah, that. I see. So so you have the language in in. Uh, uh, in 5.1 one mix and the other one in 5.1 mix also so yeah. on the on the one mix is 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 in um our uh, takes uh what can what can i say uh, um it's not uh, as as a own um sound format but it's it's covered in dts hd master yes yes so, so uh, uh, are there different mixers who did is it the same mixer That did the different uh, formats or different? Yes, yes, because uh, many of the um, pure audios uh, that are made, it's, uh, the inventor is a, is a German guy. He's, uh, he's called Stefan Bock, and he put some technical things for Blu-ray together. And so he created um, a new, I can I say, that's a pure audio. Um, yeah. It's only um, like a blu normal Blu-ray, like this one. Right. You can say, and um, on one uh, you you have the space uh, for the for the uh, for the music because mm -hmm. you have done don't much uh, big picture there, and you can choose what you what is like with, uh, with oh, the music. Oh, I, I I get what you're saying. It, you're saying there's not there's not all kinds of video content taking up room on the disc, so they can have all those audio formats. Is that yes. what you mean? Since it's just a picture on the screen. They got yes, more space you, on the standard blue. When, um, okay. when you took a, a, um, a look on the backside from the uh, from the pure audio disc, you have a, a two point. Let me know, five point one mix in twenty twenty four bits with ninety uh, six kilohertz. So yes. it, I just wanted to make sure they, it wasn't mixed by Wilfried. Right? Because if no, no, it's yeah, like, uh, real free, make sure the oral sounds real good, and then the, for the, the other Dolby one, is gonna be whack. Just, <laughs> that's, um, it's, yeah. it's 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 um, it's it depends on the content. Um, yeah. 
when you look on the on the twister movies uh, from from turbine uh, one mix the hour mix is created in the galaxy uh, galaxy studios in belgium and the atmos mix was made by an atmos studio in germany mm. so there there are different mixes but on on these pre audios uh, there was the uh, the same mixer but he, he decided on one track for um, for hour and one track for for atmos all right. Oh, and you have in 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 an hour you have a higher resolution. If you're wondering Stefan how why uh, Aaron mm -hmm. isn't saying much, he he still has a what 5.1 system? I got 1.3 so <laughs> so yeah, pretty cool. He, he, I got a center <laughs> channel and three subs. Whenever we talk about uh you know up mixing or I just zone out. Like, I don't know. Whatever. Well, you know, I've got a practice sleeping with my eyes open so i figure this is the mm -hmm. perfect time to do it yeah. 